Hello my darlings and welcome to a new fashion video here on my channel. I always say this every time I film a fashion video, but it's been a while. I kind of miss doing my setup. I've got the ring light behind you, you're on a tripod and it feels jazzy. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a summer basics, affordable summer basics video and I've made a bit of an effort. I've been trying out, I'm trying out loads of things with my hair at the moment. I'm trying really hard to reduce um, my heat usage on my hair because I do colour my hair a lot, it's very blonde um, and that causes a lot of damage to your hair so I'm trying not to use tongs and heated irons every day. So this is my heated roller set which obviously doesn't get anywhere near as hot as um, straighteners. I'm just not very good at it yet, this is the first time I've tried it by actually taking time to do it. I tried it a couple of days ago and I put no time in and it was it was okay, but I still haven't quite got the like positioning of the curls down yet. If you're wondering, it's this 40 pound set, which I got from Amazon. And yeah, I think I just need to practice it a little bit more. We've definitely got the volume. We have got curls, but yeah, this side is a lot more curled than this side. So a lot more practice is definitely needed. But anyway, you're not here to hear about my hair. You are here for affordable summer wardrobe basics. Okay, I will of course, as always, leave everything that I feature in today's video linked in the description box down below. The majority of these pieces are from H&M. I did a big H&M order and to be honest, I do wear H&M a lot when it comes to my relaxing around the house days. Obviously my gardening, I wear a lot of H&M and Amazon, Amazon fashion as well. The dress I'm wearing right now to start this video is an Amazon fashion dress. I'm actually trying on outfits. So apologies if you can see suitcases in all the reflections, the reflections always give me away, but I'm trying on outfits for an upcoming trip and this is perfect for one day in particular, but I have this dress in loads of different colours, it's probably my most worn dress, but this is the one that I'm loving at the moment with the very subtle, can you see it's got little daisies, you can obviously wear it puff sleeve like this, it's gorgeous, I will leave it linked down below. But let's get started with H&M. Before I get in with the clothes, let me show you two little home purchases. So first of all, this kind of clamshell or just general shell vase. If you watch my vlogs or follow me on TikTok, you might know that I am obsessed with flower arranging. At this time of year, our garden is just overflowing with blooms and I love nothing more in the evenings than heading out with my secateurs and snipping blooms and bringing them into the house. I actually did a full tutorial on this display. It's a little bit Constance Spry-esque. If you guys know who Constance Spry is, then I'm pretty sure that we are soulmates. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit a little bit Constance Spry-esque. We have got Alcamilla, we've got Catmint, we've got Alliums, we've got Ami Magus in here, all of my favourite summer blooms. Um, so yeah, I'll leave the TikTok tutorial link down below, but the vase I think was $24.99 from H&M. It's a little bit... It's a little bit concretey, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of thought it was gonna be white porcelain, but it's literally like raw concrete. So when this flower display dies down, I plan on just leaving this in my garden to hopefully age a bit, hopefully get a little bit of moss growing on it, and I think it should look really beautiful. And then my second home purchase, slightly less exciting, but this was giving me major Brost vibes, and we have a lot of Brost um, home pieces that we've purchased since we moved house and they're a lot more expensive than H&M home. So it's this kind of stony style with the contrast like rim here. I just thought this would be useful for sauces, for gravy, for cream, with strawberries and cream. Um, and it's, yeah, just goes with all of our homeware. H&M home have got some amazing bits at the moment, but you have to be so quick. I do find that things sell out really, really quickly, which is very annoying. Um, but if you're speedy, then you can get some really nice Really nice bits from H&M Home. Okay, so here is look number one, and I had to start with something that I do wear very, very regularly, my kind of gardening outfits, but if you're not into gardening, then obviously perfect outfit for just relaxing around the house, but also nipping out, you know, it's perfect for dashing to the shops, going to meet friends, whatever you love to do. So I have paired these shorts. I have actually now got four or five pairs of this exact 
pair of shorts in a few different colors because I love them. I love that they have got the elasticated waistband that makes them so comfy to pull on. If you are heading on holiday and you're going somewhere where maybe you might be in a bikini for a lot of the day, but then sometimes need to cover up a bit more or want to cover up a bit more, then these are fantastic. I have got them in white. Um, I've also, but I have to say my favorite is this kind of linen color, which pairs really nicely with white. So they are super high-waisted, fairly short shorts, and just a really relaxed style and just super comfortable and versatile. There's a lot of helicopter noise outside today. I don't know what is going on. So sorry about the background noise. Um, and then a summer wardrobe is not complete without a really relaxed white shirt. I love the fact that this one is kind of cropped three-quarter sleeve. I think it's a really nice look and also really practical. Sometimes on a hot day, you just want your shoulders covered and maybe the top of your back covered. Sorry to be a gardening bore, but also when you're gardening, you, you are like hunched down working away quite a lot of the time. So you do want that top, back and shoulders covered um, so that you don't get burnt during the heat of the day. But then sometimes you don't want something long sleeved. So for me, this blouse is super duper versatile. If you want to, you can unbutton it all the way, do a little crisscross detail if you want to fling it on over a bikini. Really lightweight, great for throwing in a beach bag and it'll probably dry really quickly too if you are planning on taking this on holiday. I love nothing more in summer than to just throw on a really easy to wear dress and I love a spaghetti strap if it is a really warm day. If it was a heat wave day in the city then this is absolutely the type of thing that I would wear. I'm really loving this fresh zingy lemon yellow color and I've said before I think it works for every skin tone, every hair color. I really think it is such a flattering color especially when you have got that glow that you get from the sun. So this one has got a really nice low v-neck, perfect for showing off any jewelry. I'm wearing my usual necklace and these really fun earrings that I've had for a little while. I got these before Christmas. They are from Soru Jewelry. Sometimes I feel like if you're wearing a plain and casual summer outfit, why not jazz it up with some jewelry? Um, so the fabric of the dress is a lovely pleated fabric. And this is one of those things. When I am looking in more affordable stores, I tend to go for more simple silhouettes because I think that with the right accessories, you can make these things look as though they are from a designer boutique, if that is what you, if that's the kind of look that you want to achieve. It does have a little uh, belt to cinch you in around the waist, or of course you could add in your own belt, but it also looks really lovely worn in a more relaxed shape um, without the belt on at all. A very affordable pair of shoes that I've been wearing a lot over the summer months is this pair here. They are a little bit of a dupe for the Bottega shoes. I would never spend that amount of money on a pair of trend shoes. However, these were super affordable from Debenhams. I will leave them linked down below as well. I love raffia, I love rattan, I love meals, and they do give a little bit of height as well. So if I was wearing this for lunch with girlfriends, you know, a nice summer day out, then this is how I would style them, and probably with a little basket bag as well to complete the look. Okay, my darlings, up next we have this adorable little combination. So the top and the skirt are sold separately, but I think they were styled together on the website and I decided to add them both to my basket to recreate the look. So first of all, this lovely little crop top, and I do find that crop tops are so handy in summer. Of course, you'll notice I'm sticking to mostly neutral colors because they just slot into your wardrobe so easily, mix and match and become those like building block pieces that work with so many of your existing outfits. That is generally what I'm looking for when I'm buying at Summer Basics. I love the fact that we've got these little strappy sleeves. To be honest, you could probably tuck them in if you wanted to go completely strapless. I got size extra small and it's still quite roomy. So I would say if you're between sizes, then size down with both of these pieces. The skirt has got an elasticated waistband. It's still quite big on me, so definitely size down. It's a very elegant combination. It could work really lovely for summer events. It does feel like a really nice holiday vibe outfit as well if you are heading anywhere special over summer. And once again, I think you can't go wrong with raffia accessories. So I've got the same shoes on and grab my basket bag and that is such a chic and elegant summer look. Totally timeless and you don't need to spend a fortune to look fabulous in <laughs> basics of this summer. Well, my darlings, I wasn't planning on um, presenting myself in a bathing suit for today's video, but I've just tried this on and it is absolutely adorable, absolutely adorable. So we've got this gorgeous blue and white 
very low v-neck. I might see if I can cinch the arms up a little bit to make it a little bit less of a low v-neck. White and blue bathing costume. The stripes are very nautical, very classic, very timeless. I love a bow detail, whether it's on an outfit or on a swimsuit. And you've got a low plunging back as well. Seriously, what is going on? Yes, I feel like this is such a classic kind of swimsuit style. I don't love wearing, <laughs> I don't love wearing bikinis. I feel better in a swimsuit. And I do often feel that the more expensive ones do just like hold me in in the right places and make me feel more confident. But I have to say, this is probably the best high street swimsuit that I have tried on in a very, very long time. I'm gonna whip it on with the white version of the linen shorts Ooh, that I showed you earlier. And that is a really cute little outfit. White and blue, a really classic combination. Again, if you're on holiday somewhere and you're gonna be in and out of the water having a boat day, for example, then this is the perfect outfit for that. And again, the shorts, just stick a blouse over your shoulders when it gets to that certain time of day. I do do my gardening in white shorts as well. They wash really easily. These have been in and out of the wash countless times. Great big pockets as well. Perfect for putting your phone in and being hands-free if you're watering your plants and things like that. Again, super elasticated waistband. Yes, I love how these look together. And this is definitely an outfit that's going to be coming with me on my upcoming holiday. Well, <laughs> this never happens. Normally when I'm doing a Try on video, I'll normally just like hold up the bikini and show you the model picture. However, I feel great in this bikini. Oh my goodness, H&M Swimwear this year, they are smashing it. I loved the design of this one. So it is a little crop top. Like I feel quite covered and yet it's still a bikini. So you've got this little crop top, um, which has got removable, um, there's like little padding discs. And I'm not sure that they're big enough. <laughs> I think they should have made the padding discs a little bit bigger but then you've got this really lovely fun ruffle detail and this would most definitely pass as a crop top as well it's not like really bikini-ish and then the bottoms are high-waisted bottoms which I love especially when you're on holiday I want to eat everything I want to eat all the potatoes bravas all the croquettes all the mickey mouse shaved waffles <laughs> That's a bit of a hint as to where my holiday is next week. Um, and I just feel more confident when I'm wearing a high-waisted bikini. I think they are more flattering and I love them. This bikini bottom is too small. It was a little bit of a to get it on. So I think I will order the next size up so that I'm more comfortable and to leave more room for Mickey Mouse shaped waffles. But I love the fact that it's got this little tie detail in the front here. Adds a little bit of interest, a little bit of detail to the bikini bottoms. But as far as an affordable high street bikini set goes, this is definitely my favourite one that I think I have ever tried. So... Thank you, H&M. Oh, and without giving you too much of a boob close-up, I don't know if you can really see, but it's this kind of textured material, which again, I think is really flattering with um, bikinis. Okay, you'll be relieved to know that I'm back in the summer clothing. So I'm not sure that I'd actually pair these two pieces together, but I love both of the pieces separately. First of all, let's actually start with the trousers. I love the trousers. They are a linen blend. Blend being the operative word here because linen by itself creases like crazy. So unless you plan on spending most of your day stood up, not really moving, then pure linen, it is fabulous but it's not the most practical option. So a linen blend is great because then you get the best properties of both materials. Again, elasticated waistband, nice deep pockets, super comfortable trousers for traveling in. I've got, I think, a nine hour flight ahead of me for my trip next week. So I'm pretty sure these will be my traveling trousers. Um, and then the blouse is one of these really easy, lightweight, simple to wear blouses. I have actually, don't know if I'm feeling a little bit youthful today, but I've tucked it into my brassiere because I felt that it looked better as a little bit of a crop top, but you can wear it just like loose as well. Um, I just thought that this was a little bit too baggy having everything loose fitting. So I created a little bit of shape by cinching it in up there. Okay, so this is the style of top that I'm more likely to wear with that style of trousers. I've switched out the elasticated waistband wide leg trousers. Well, these are also wide leg for, <laughs> for a kind of similar pair. These are a little bit smarter. The trousers are from H&M and the top is from a really lovely brand that I discovered on Instagram called By Melina. They have so many gorgeous pieces. 
The top pairs really nicely with these trousers because they are high-waisted, super duper high-waisted, and again, these are perfect for hot, country, heatwave day kind of vibes because they're really lovely, lightweight, again, linen blend. They could have the potential to be a little bit sheer, so I have got nude underwear on, no pockets, very, very simple silhouette. And again, I'm leaning towards this blue and white colour scheme, which is quite unlike me. I don't normally have much blue in my wardrobe, but I think that a slightly more fun and pattern top. This has actually got little um, shells and seahorses on it. Really, really cute. Paired with the trousers, this really shows how this can be such a, a basic, a building block part of your summer wardrobe um, because, yeah, just goes with so many different things. You could also style these trousers with a really simple, just white linen or linen blend blouse. Just cinch the blouse, tie the, tie the blouse in a bow, and that is a totally timeless, classic summer look. So here they are styled with a blouse. This is another piece from H&M. This is one of the blouses I've had in my wardrobe for a couple of months now, and I wear it a lot for, you guessed it, gardening. I love to just throw it over my shoulders. It's a little bit thicker material-wise, so great if it does start to have a little bit of a chill in the air in the evenings. Looks great over little strappy dresses as well, and with my uh, little white scrunchy, scrunchy top shorts. I'm really loving this quite earthy green shade at the moment. Pairs really beautifully with white, and you could wear this shirt in a slightly more smart style, but I love it, just, you know, scrunch up your sleeves, cinch yourself in around the waist, and this for me is a really relaxed and yet still very elegant and polished summer everyday outfit. So seeing as this is a summer wardrobe basics video, I wanted to share with you, it's not new, but it is my most worn ever H&M piece, and it is this shirt dress. I've had this for two or three summers now, and it comes with me on every single holiday. It is fantastic for just looking so elegant and so chic and so timeless, um, but in the most affordable piece, it's so relaxed. It works great over a bikini, great for those days when you just don't really know what to wear, you don't know what the vibe is, because it ticks so many boxes. I have worn this to really relaxed beach restaurants. I have started up with accessories. I love wearing my Loewe belts with this. It is the most wonderful shirt dress. I just absolutely love it. I wear it a lot here in the UK as well. Um, it's very big and oversized, you know. I do roll up the sleeves, which just adds to that kind of relaxed vibe. And today I've paired it with the raffia heels as well. This goes in and out of stock like crazy. Sometimes it's on the website, sometimes it isn't. What I'll do if this exact one is not in stock right now is I'll leave the general page where you would find it linked down below. But I have found that Amazon have something which is so nearly identical. In fact, the only difference that I can see is that the Amazon one only has one pocket on the chest area, whereas the H&M one has two pockets. So it's literally exactly the same, very similar price as well. So I will also leave my Amazon white shirt dress linked down below in case you wanna create this look, but the H&M one is currently sold out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my darlings, this is my most common gardening outfit. I am a sun lover, I love to feel the sun's rays on my skin, so I do love a bandeau top, because then I can get the sun all over my chest and shoulders and arms. Um, I believe this is called the tube top on H&M, it's under £10, so I definitely recommend stocking up. Also fantastic for holidays, and if you just if you love the sun like I do, these are fantastic. And then these trousers are the best gardening trousers. I love the color, this kind of sage green shade. You do have little pockets, not that I ever really use them. Really comfortable, really lightweight material. If you are kneeling on the ground, then you're not going to be scratching your knees because they are ankle length and yet they are so easy to throw on in the wash. They dry really quickly, they're a dream to iron. You don't have to iron them, but I always give them a quick steam and the material is so light, um, sorry I'm really itchy on my schnoz, uh, <laughs> that the creases just drop out really, really quickly. So yeah, this is literally my gardening outfit. I was wearing this last night so you can probably see a few little marks, a little bit of plant food <laughs> on, um, on the trousers, but yeah, love them and probably 
will buy a second pair of these as well because I do wear them so so often and then just to finish on some kind of duplicates the elasticated waistband shorts in this green color as well as something else that I get a ton of wear out of is this shade in the shorts and then the linen blend trousers again in this earthy kind of sage green color full length trousers I would recommend sizing down on these they are very elasticated and even though I have got size extra small sometimes with this style of trouser I still find that I need to roll them over at the top um, so yeah definitely size down but another very practical trouser style for relaxing at home if you don't want to wear leggings or you know tracksuit bottoms I think these are a slightly chicer option and then my darlings just to very quickly finish because the dogs have started to go mad not sure I'd call this a summer basic top but it is a great way of elevating a basic outfit still being super duper comfortable it is a little bit of a nod to those Kate tops but I find them incredibly flattering they really kind of pull you in it's that really nice thick elasticated material a really lovely neckline shape I have paired with <laughs> the elasticated waistband trousers as well in fact, I think this, I know I've said it before, but I think this will be my flying outfit because I feel smart and yet I am super duper comfortable. I always think that tops which look smart but are really comfy are always a winner. So my darlings, that is my H&M and summer basics what's new my wardrobe edit haul whatever you like to call it everything will be linked in the description box down below so darlings thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in the next one Bye.